when we talk about diet, green tea and how it, it can be very, well, my gosh, I drink it all the time now, more than I ever have, and how it can hopefully, well, prevent the risk of breast cancer. What have you been hearing about this? Well, uh, one of the companies that sells green tea uh, put out a little news release on this very subject. Uh, I asked our staff at Breast Cancer Answers to sort of look into this. Uh, first of all, is green tea good for you, for men and women? The answer is yes. Are the things that exist within the green tea uh, good for you? The answer is yes. And so what we've been able to figure out with our staff at Breast Cancer Answers is that there's an ongoing study looking for volunteers at the University of Minnesota in Minneapolis, Minnesota on this very subject. And um, uh, we would, I, I would like us, uh, Lisa, as a follow-up to today's uh, hangout uh, to share what the uh, Connect is, uh, which is clinicaltrials.org, I believe is the correct website to find out about this okay. or contacting the medical center at the University of Minnesota itself about their green tea study. The, the thing is with any study like this you need a lot of data about the individual patient, you need other aspects of what their diet is all about and then you've obviously got to quantify the amount of green tea and th this isn't something, gosh if I start drinking green tea tomorrow Am I going to prevent breast cancer, you know, a year from now? Part of this is about lifestyle uh, change. And interestingly, Lisa, where do you think uh, historically they have consumed more green tea? Asia, hello. You got it. Asia, hello. Yeah. Now, with the advent of, you know, McDonald's uh, out in Asia and Kentucky Fried Chicken, and all the things that the Asians really like. Listen, every place I've been in mainland China, uh, it's amazing how many things are there like Kentucky Fried Chicken. Are they getting away from some of their traditional diet? I'm afraid they probably are. But yeah, throughout Asia, green tea has been extremely popular, as has been soy-based products uh, and the diet, and, and as well as products. And so the combination of soy, green tea, low fat, all those things have probably contributed over the years to having a much lower incidence of breast cancer among Asian women. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.